to the first session of profit and loss. Today we will be first of all dealing with some terms related to this like cost price, selling price, profit percentage, loss percentage etc. So first of all we start with the terms and then we keep on discussing what each term means and how do we find out the profit on a given transaction or a loss incurred on a given transaction. So let's see the first term. Our first term is cost price. Cost price, the price at which an article is purchased. It is called the cost price of that item. Suppose if I buy from a shopkeeper a pen for rupees 50. So that is not the cost price. That is the selling price. The cost price will be what the shopkeeper had bought for example, if he is selling for rupees 50, he might have purchased it for rupees 45. That means the cost price of the pen was rupees 45. The next term is selling price. Selling price, the price at which an article is sold is called its selling price. Just like this example which I gave just now, the pen was purchased for rupees 45 and the shopkeeper is selling me for rupees 50. I am purchasing it for rupees 50. That means the selling price is rupees 50. SP is 50. The next term is profit or gain. Profit comes when the selling price is greater than CP. If SP is greater than CP, then shopkeeper makes a gain or profit and the amount of profit is the difference between SP and CP. Once again, when I take this example of the shopkeeper that he purchased the pen for rupees 45, he sold me for rupees 50, that means he is making a profit of the difference amount, that is rupees 50 minus 45. So the profit or gain is rupees 5 on that transaction. The next term, loss. If selling price is less than cost price, then shopkeeper incurs a loss which is equal to the difference of selling price and cost price. But here selling price is less than cost price. So the formula for loss is CP minus SP. In this case, if we take the example of pen, suppose the shopkeeper would have purchased the pen for rupees 50 and by some chance he is not able to sell that pen. So he is giving me for rupees 40. That means he purchased it for rupees 50 but now he is selling me at a loss for rupees 40. That means he is incurring a loss of 10 rupees. That is the difference between CP and SP. CP was rupees 50 and the SP is rupees 40. So he is incurring a loss of rupees 10. We understand these concepts with the help of examples. The first example, a shopkeeper buys a book of rupees 400 from wholesaler and sells it to the customer for rupees 430. Find out whether he made profit or incurred a loss in this transaction. So here in this question, what I have is the cost price is rupees 400. Because this is the price at which the shopkeeper is buying a book from the wholesaler when he is selling to the customer for rupees 430. As we can see, the selling price is higher than the cost price. And as I have mentioned, if SP, if the selling price is greater than CP, I definitely make a profit. It is profit. But here, what is the amount of profit if we want to calculate? Profit is the difference in the values of the selling price and the cost price. So here what I can write is SP minus CP. This formula we have already seen. SP minus CP. We fill in the values. SP is 430 from here. CP is 400. So what difference I get is rupees 30. So here in this case, the profit is 430 minus 400, that is rupees 30. Rupees 30 is the total profit on this transaction. So this is my final answer, profit of rupees 30.
Let's see another example. A man purchases a cycle for rupees 2200. He sells it to his friend for rupees 2000 after a few days. Find out the amount of loss incurred. Here in this question we see that a man purchases a cycle for rupees 2200 and in a few days time he sells it off for rupees 2000. Maybe for some reason he doesn't like the cycle or maybe he is in need of money. So he is selling for rupees 2000. As we can see the CP is greater than SP. Here if CP is greater than SP definitely it is a loss. Because if I am purchasing something for a bigger amount and selling it forward at a lesser amount definitely I incur a loss. So now what will be the value of the loss incurred? That will be loss is equal to CP minus SP because in this case the selling price is less than the cost price. In this case it will be 2200 minus 2000. It is giving me a loss of rupees 200. So this is the amount of loss which is being incurred when something is purchased at 2200 and sold at 2000 rupees. Third question, a man buys a second hand wrist watch for rupees 800. He spent rupees 150 on its repair. Then he sold it for rupees 1100 to his friend. Find out the profit or loss incurred. In this question, we are going to learn a new concept of overhead expenses. Overhead expenses means if we are buying some item, suppose I am buying a cycle and I see that it is a second hand cycle and I need some repairs for it and I have to spend some money on it. That means I am paying a price to the person from whom I am buying. Suppose here in this case it's 800. 150 again I have to spend on some repair work. That means I am doing some additional expenses. These additional expenses are called overhead expenses. Now, the total CP, that means the total cost of the cycle to me comes to be 800 plus 150. That is rupees 950. Because this is the cost which I am paying to the person directly or indirectly. Directly is 800 and 150 for repair of that cycle. Now, I am selling it for rupees 1100. This is the SP. As I can see, SP is greater than my CP. That means I am having a profit. And the amount of profit is the difference of the amount of SP and CP. SP being bigger than CP because it's a profit case. So here the SP is 1100 which is given to me. CP, I am not going to put 800. The total CP, the total cost price is 950 inclusive of the repairs. That means CP plus overhead expenses that comes to be 950. 1100 minus 950 is 150. So this is the amount of profit that I am making on the transaction. This is the amount of the profit of the transaction. Hope you are liking all our videos. So, send in your suggestions and queries in the comment box. Share the videos with your friends and press the bell icon for the latest information on all the videos of Maths and English. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. Idea Inkling.